Dear Sir, the Prime Minister has asked me to inform you in strict confidence that having accepted the advice of the main Honours Committee, she is recommending that Her Majesty the Queen may be graciously pleased to approve that you be appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire in brackets MBE for services to disability cricket in the new year 2019 honours list. I read that paragraph about 10 times and um, I just thought, well, this is a bit weird. Just reading it out now is probably about the first time that I've not really been emotional about it. So It's just really lovely that, that other people have um, recognised the work that, that, I, that I do. I know the tune, don't know the, don't know the words. You know, Rich, to be fair to him, has been at the forefront of all the developments in physical and learning disability cricket over the last 20 years. And he's also found himself involved with deaf and blind cricket at various points over that time as well. Today I've been working with a group of um, older people, all who are living with dementia. Um, and we brought um, a game to them, a sitting down game, which uh, is loosely based around cricket. It's a bat and a ball game. Um, if you remember last time, we're going we're gonna to practice our bowling. So our bowling consists of this ball. So my disability is an, is an acquired disability, i.e. I wasn't born with it. But I had encephalitis as a two-year-old, which is an inflammation of the right. brain. So, so going back to school was quite difficult. The biggest thing for me, however, was the fact that I was excluded from PE and sport. And I think that, for me, is a big motivator today because it's to get people who otherwise would be excluded from sport actually involved in it, and, and the benefits are huge. Butterfingers! <laughs> He's a great guy. Never heard him say a bad word about anybody. Um, everybody gets on with him, and you've seen uh, the rapport he's got with the, uh, with the audience that he's, that he's built up. Yeah, so tomorrow I have to be at Buckingham Palace for 10 o'clock. The, the good news is that it's, I'm not being 90, so I don't have to go on, down on one knee, because if I went down on one knee, I'd never get up again. So, yeah, 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 that would make two of us, yeah, yeah. A tweet this morning from Neil Bradshaw. Wishing Richard Hill the best of luck, not for collecting his MBE, which he, he will take in his stride, but for, but for attempting to get his lovely wife Kim there on time. <laughs> That's a fair point. So many uh, people in the 25 years or so that I've been doing this that I've come across that I know it's changed their lives. With a lot of the disability groups, they're kind of almost the forgotten people. There we go. Okay. We gotta go up there. Yeah. Just being able to give, you know, people opportunity to play, uh, to play our great game is, is what it's all about. When I first got involved in it, uh, disability cricket in my own county, Hertfordshire, was was unheard of, and and here we are today with all 39 county cricket boards. Uh, running disability cricket programmes of, of some sort. You know, it'd be great to see where it, where it, how, how it continues to, to, to move on. There is a platform, yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. You know, and, and you know, we have cricket now at all levels, disability cricket. Yeah, it's very powerful. <laughs> That's all you're getting.